number six on our Drupal site building workflow is people. So in this next section of videos, we're going to talk about people management. All right, so I've switched back to the Zircon theme and we'll keep this one for the rest of the class. People management is really critical. Now, there's a reason we leave this to the end. It's because it's actually pretty complicated to get right and so we want to just have to do it once. Go ahead and click on people and people in Drupal are given roles that have permissions. Drupal allows you through their permission structure to control what people can see and what people can do. Now it's important to remember a few things here. Number one, remember today you are user number one, the super user. Nobody can change your permissions. There is a user below that called administrator. Administrators are generally given permission to manage the entire site, but still not be as high as user number one. Authenticated users, logged in people have certain rights, and of course, anonymous users. Are people who are visitors not logged in? It usually just allows people to view the content that's not protected and do nothing else. Another important thing to remember is that you want to set up roles that are specific to the tasks on your site. For instance, if you have a summer intern and the summer intern is only allowed to update events, not articles, not pages, not user groups. Well, then this summer intern needs to have its own role so that you can manage their permissions. And we'll set that up in the next video. For now, go ahead and click on permissions and let's scroll down just slowly and see what is available. This list gets longer and longer and longer for every content type you add, for every module you add, for every view you build, this list gets long. So you probably want to only manage these as little as possible. This is one of the reasons we recommend waiting till the end. You don't have to wait till the end. And that's the great thing about Drupal. As we've seen, you can do things pretty much in any order, except content, of course. Content comes first, but otherwise, yeah, you can pretty much manage this as you go, if that's what you prefer to do. So people management in Drupal, what people can do. In the next video, let's add a new role, give it some permissions, and test it out.